What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Uh-oh. But it's okay. Okay. I'm just gonna... Stress your neck. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing tonight? We are gonna try, we are gonna try doing this live, but it looks like it could be raining soon. Yeah. Last so, time we <laughs> did a live during a storm, we had some problems. Forget the shaking. There we go. That's a lot better, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Let me get that light. Yeah, so just let us know if you can see us and hear us okay. Yeah, yeah, just let us know if there's any issues. If there's any problems. Built on the Rock Homestead, how's it going? Oh, what? Is it it's raining? Midlife prices says it's raining. Is it storming there? It's not storming there. It's not storming here yet, but it is little sprinkles. Little sprinkles. Yeah, you know, I'm just looking at that weather app, and... Doreen says she can see and hear us. Excellent. Yeah, I'm looking at the weather app all day today, and like a little while ago, it said like we're getting two inches, and then it's like jumped down to like 0. 0.3 inches. So, I don't know. It's all over the place. It's all over the place. You can't trust Google <laughs> for many reasons. <laughs> so feeling poor sixty three dollars for a PO box. Oh sorry you gotta go through that, Kiri. That is rough. She got her mailbox destroyed a little while ago. She's off grid with her mail. So I hope everyone is doing tonight. We're doing okay. Busy day, but uh, you know, now it's time to kind of settle in and relax, talk to you all. <laughs> ah, all right. Getting comfy? Got settled? Get... No. No, I might jump up a couple times, but I got to get my water. Mm -hmm. And my flask. Your flask? Your a flask of water. Canteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that canteen. <laughs> Cruise just been in mind uh, this past like hour or so. Really been just like getting kind of mouthy and getting mm -hmm. kind of insistent. Like, yeah, just like not biting per se, but. Start kind of nibbling on my nib leg. <laughs> nibbling. And you don't want a dog that big to start nibbling on you. And it, it's not even storming that hard. No, just with the wind and the clouds, you mm -hmm. could tell he's super nervous. Oh, were you out? Were you out there a little bit? My chat was not working. North Star Prep Center says we've gotten more rain than I have since March. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. How much rain did you get? Uh, because we, we haven't got a ton so far. How, how much rain have we gotten since our, I got distracted. Pam's been nibbling on Brian's leg. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> She's nervous too from the storms. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on over there. Maybe, maybe that's a more interesting live stream. Um, yeah, but uh, since we put up the uh, gutters and the pipes and everything like that, I think we've only gotten like about a half an inch of rain, right? Yeah, I mean, we've been kind of expecting rain. It's been on the forecast and stuff, and then it never... Never hits, hits here, up. but it's like that sometimes. You know, sometimes we'll, you know, we'll talk to our neighbors, and like the year before last, 
they wouldn't get any, but it would it was dropping like here like crazy. Yeah. So I'm worried that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'll just miss this area. Ah. <laughs> uh. You can all ask why don't you guys upload videos as often as you used to? Well, that's a good question. We used to. There was like a stretch of time where we were uploading just about every day, and uh, that that that'll burn you out quick. Yeah. <laughs> I think we did that for nine months. It's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to do. It's kind of difficult the filming and editing like every day. Yeah, so you know, we 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 opted to you know, obviously we got to get work done over here, so there's got to be this balance between sort of the videoing, the editing, the building. Uh, there's got to be a, a balance with that and having enough time you know to like live live your life a little bit <laughs> right. um but you know and we opted really for quality versus quantity you know we could probably turn out more videos but it would you know we wouldn't be able to put in the kind of effort that we like to put in to the videos mm -hmm. so as how much rain have you guys collected so far so since the gutters have been up, we just pretty much had that one rain, right? Or was it a couple? Uh, uh, one decent rain and then like a like a tenth of an inch. So I think all together was like, what did I say? 500? 500, 500 gallons. gallons. <laughs> Adrian, the upside of down side of says, hey guys, for slinging mud, you're looking mighty dapper this evening. Mm -hmm. No, uh, man, you should have you should have seen me these past couple of days. You so changed out of your mud shirt. Yeah, I changed out of my mud shirt, cleaned the mud shirt. Mm -hmm. But uh, these past couple, yeah, well, I just dunked it in some water to get all the clumps of mud off of there. I didn't clean it, clean it, but it's cleaner. Uh, so I've been busy getting the inside of the dome kind of ready. I just got kind of this layer of mud over the uh, in on the inside of the dome patching up some uh, some areas where some of the bags split open and uh yeah i've just been crazy mud covered especially when slinging that mud it looks like uh, just a crazy dust layer over everything in there <laughs> like the bags the floor everything's mud covered so we don't have to, so we don't want to worry about uv damage anywhere <laughs> I wonder that the inside should be better protected from rain, right? Because it it's kind of the walls are kind of going in. I think more. so. I think so. Yeah. I guess we'll see. You know, I don't know how much rain we're gonna get today, but we'll see how things hold up. So I know during the last video, um, you know, the cob cannon didn't quite work as well as we had hoped. But, yeah, there was a lot of suggestions uh, using different tools, a uh, larger compressor and everything like that. But I was just like, you know, uh, I'm just going to try and do it quick and quick and dirty. And it, it was dirty. Uh, and I just I just used that broom. And I was just flinging dirt. I was just flinging mud everywhere. It worked pretty well, right? It was. I got it done really quick. Yeah. Do you think quicker than you would have been able to with the the mortar sprayer? That's really tough to say. It's really tough to say because I only used it for a little bit and it wasn't working very well. But I don't know. Nice thing with the broom, well, like you could just spray it, like, and you got up pretty high. You know, I got up. I got up all the way to the roof. Or or yeah, yeah. I just flung that mop. That uh, I flung. <laughs> I flung that mud all the way up to the top of the dome. That was crazy. Yeah, you, you guys will see it in, in the next video. Yeah, it's it's crazy. What do you think of that? Because you, you only saw me that once, right? I think that's the only time I actually went in there while yeah. you were working. <laughs> Otherwise, she was smart you... to stay out of there. Yeah. She was smart to stay out of Looked there. kind of messy. Rich asks, is there a water table below y'all if so is it cost prohibitive to put in a well i'm sure you answered this before i just don't remember 
Yeah, I mean, we've answered it before. I mean, not not big of a deal. Uh, chances are we'd have to go down pretty far for a well. Uh, it might be at least probably three hundred. Yeah, but it might be like six hundred. Could be as much as six. And that um, could get kind of expensive. Could be kind of expensive. So I mean, people people like to do that, and I understand. Um, it might be you know people feel like. A little bit more comfort in that and it can use the water all like that you know constantly is a little less fear for them i guess but i think rainwater harvesting is you know the way to go for us anyway for us. just because you know we can build the structures out here catch water off of it yeah. maybe even maybe even put it uh catchment and storage in more places than just um than just the one central location too. Yeah, that's the cool thing. Like if we need water in a different area of the property or something, mm -hmm. we can build some kind of catchment and storage there. Uh, I'll be a mother trucker. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know if you ever covered in your videos or if you mind saying how much did you have to get for your 40 acres and is land still affordable there? So I feel like we got kind of lucky with this land. I mean, it was pretty affordable. Yeah. Um, and we bought it back when, like, 2014, maybe? It was a while ago. Right around there, 2014, 2015, something like that. Um, so it was a little over 15,000. I think it was, like, 15,400 yep. for 40 acres. So that's pretty good. I haven't seen too many prices like comparable to that uh, since then. Yeah, I mean, there. I I think I've still seen people get some decent deals, but they're a lot less going around. Those prices keep they keep going up. Mm. Tell you, it's uh, I was uh doing quite a bit of that mudslinging and cabin by myself and that is it's rough doing that kind of work by yourself because then you got to do the mixing and then the applying and then like both those activities go so quick and then i hate transitioning between mm, the mixing. those things yeah it always takes the steam out of my engine uh -huh. one or the other that's what i like but you've been pretty busy eh you got a bunch of things on the like, why weren't you up in there? You got a bunch of things in the. What going was on. I? Was I working on <laughs> a video for part of that time? Nope. I didn't. Why wasn't I helping you? <laughs> uh, I know I was working on a drawing. Yeah, I just got another drawing going on. And that one's going to be in a future video. Be on the lookout for that. Um, and some other projects. I was working on. <laughs> but, yeah, Secret little projects. things, I guess. Well, it looks like we might be doing pretty good. Well, yeah, I was kind of hoping for for rain. It said that, like it was gonna come down now, it's like waiting. at five p.m. It's like boom, it's gonna come down. Whoa! Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Very generous. Thank you so much for that. Maybe the rain will wait till after the last. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's being considerate. It, it felt so rude uh, the last time, and it started interrupting the uh, the live. But maybe it'll wait. <laughs> Larry asks, "How are you planning on finishing the inside of the dome?" Um, it'll be cob for the most part, wouldn't it? I think so. But um. It'd be cool. What do you think about that that um, that dirt finish that finish that we saw over at Ransom Ranch? Would you try doing it like that? Uh, I'd like to try that. I don't know if I want to try that on the whole inside. No, 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 of not the, the dome, whole inside of the dome. But it was. I thought it was beautiful, and it's it's just like earth and what was it just like earth and sand. 
yeah. like plaster. Yeah. And it was like really smooth. A really smooth, incredible for, you know, that type of material. I was just, I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. Just, this is just how you work it. But that's got to take some practice for sure. Mm hmm the Arizona Homestead Project, what's up? Man, look at that. The rain stopped. Mm, not quite. A little sprinkle over mm, here. I'm disappointed. I'm so sad. Mr. Button's <laughs> off-grid adventure asks, is the build taking longer than you thought it would when you started? Yeah. Man, uh, I thought we'd be done with this first dome by now. What were, we, what, were we, what were we planning on being done with this dome? Didn't we think it might take like three months for to do a dome? Three, four months, something three like that. Three or four months. And what is it? Oh, like yeah, seven, seven months in. It's crazy. <laughs> Leah, thank you. Thank you so much crew for rule. the super chat. Crew rule. Hey, crew does rule. Uh, I don't know if, uh, I don't know how, uh, how many of you saw that poll I put up. I put up a poll <laughs> just for fun. I already knew. How that was going to turn out. I knew how it was going to turn out. But Crew came out on top on that poll. He is the star of the show. <laughs> Followed by Jess, who's a close second. <laughs> I was third, just bidding out the chickens who are never in our videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm getting excited, though. So, you know, people want us to continue on with the build. We're, uh, that's, that's the plan. So now that we got the inside kind of covered up with mud, uh, that we got some, um, cob on the walls, it's time to start building up from there. I'm excited. How are you feeling? You feeling nervous at all? A little bit. Uh, mostly I'm excited to just get going on it. Yeah. So you guys hear it first, but, or I don't know if we've, um, mentioned it before but we're going to be doing a cob layer a little cob wall on top of the earth bag wall before we start building up from there yeah so we have all that wood up there from the eaves and the, the loft that we built so the cob is going to be kind of filling in that area mm. i'm excited about trying to See about making like a stiffer mix to get that on top. So, yeah, I, oh. I imagine it can't be too too liquidy because otherwise it'll just run off there. But it can't be, <clears throat> but it can't be too stiff because you kind of got to mold it and get it into certain right. places, right? And I want to see if I can put some bottles in there. Yeah, you really you're you've been mentioning um. bottles recently yes but i gotta see if i have the kind of bottles that we need and like enough and uh you're still not sure how you want to go about it we can you have a tool right for cutting the glass i think i do have to see Will you be doing a window in the loft area? We actually don't have a plan for a window in the loft area. Hmm. <laughs> I thought I did. Oh, is there a window going in there? There might be. Oh, are we doing some kind of like round window or something? Yeah. But we haven't figured out how we're going to do that exactly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to figure that out. We have to recode the home every few years. Um, no, no, we'll, we'll try and waterproof it somehow. Are you sure? Well, you have plans. Yeah. For kind of like, maybe not like a waterproof finish, but you have plans to try and waterproof it, right? In other ways? I have ideas, but I guess we'll, we'll see. Like, um, yeah, it might, like if we just kept it as cob yeah we might, we might have to like add more cob to it every few years or something if it starts wearing down 
Yeah, because <clears throat> traditionally with, you know, like any kind of cob, you want some type of protection over it, like a traditional roof. Uh, but our, our house will really get kind of blasted. Yeah, there's no roof. <laughs> <laughs> so that would wear down a lot quicker. But, I mean, this stuff is it's pretty hardy. Mikhail says, I can't wait to see you guys open up the basement. Yeah, and... Oh, my God, I'm eager for that, too. Actually, we might have to do that um, before we're done with the build, right? Because you have to put in some plumbing. I will have to... Um, yeah, for those before then we start the next dome, I'll have to do that. I'll have to dig... Kind of open that up and uh, put some holes in there because the plumbing will kind of go down underneath there. Sherry asks if we drink the rainwater. Yeah. Yep. We use it for everything out here. Yeah. And we have a Berkey filter, so we run it through that to filter it before we drink it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever considered doing a workshop to get some free labor for yourselves while teaching people thinking about building with earth bags? We've been hesitant on that, especially right now. Uh, you know, we're still kind of learning some of this stuff ourselves. So we're kind of hard pressed to try and teach other people. Um, maybe down the road, but it would probably be after the, the house is done. Yeah, until we get like a couple of... Yeah, we, uh, we're pretty good at building cylinders now. Maybe after we build a couple of domes. <laughs> then we'll feel comfortable with that. Do you think you'll run out of water and need delivery again? Um... I guess it depends on how depends like yeah you know, rainy season goes said we were, we were supposed to get a couple inches and uh you know we just so far it's just a drizzle yeah. so you know there was like a 70 percent chance that it was supposed to rain like right now and it's not raining so we'll see so i gotta be prepared maybe have uh redundancy in those systems So some of the bags deteriorated, is there a chance that the cob will pull away? Uh, pull away. I don't think so. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think that, no. Uh, it'll stick to, you know, the dirt as well it'll stick to the bags yeah and it's all locked together right i think the only issue would be if there like is a large enough crack in the cob that water could get in there or something maybe like push it out possibly i guess homesteading isn't so cheap after all homesteading or living off the grid isn't cheap <laughs> uh well i mean I guess it depends on what you want to do. Yeah, you know, and how you do it. And how you do it. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, society's kind of set up for probably more city living mm -hmm. and kind of not being self-sufficient. So, like, to get yourself set up in that way, it can be expensive sometimes mm -hmm. just to build everything up. Well, Chris says, my wife and I love watching your videos. We're working towards going off-grid in northern Arizona. You guys have given us the inspiration to make the commitment. Awesome. I love hearing that. Uh, glad that we can uh, inspire people to make that move. Uh, Bill and Neil asks, did you do any calculations on how much square footage you needed to gather enough water to fill your tanks over the course of the monsoon season? Yeah. Uh, we definitely, well, I mean, we definitely got enough catchment for that. Question was about storage. 
And, you know, we, we dropped the ball on that previous year because we had the catchment was there and we were getting all that water in the poly tanks, but nowhere else to go with it. Mm -hmm. And the last year was so barely got any rain. And I don't know about this year now. I don't right. know. But I mean, usually it's about this time of year where the rain really is like, or it's kind of when the, the monsoon season starts for us. Kind of mid July is when we start getting the heavier rains. Yeah, it seems like it's been like that. Yeah. Ooh, I hear thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll still get some yet. Are you guys going to be motivated to start the other dome? Yeah, why well, not? I'm <laughs> motivated. I want a place to live. Yeah, that's the motivation right there a place to live. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, we get breaks here and there. I mean, how long has it been since we've built on that wall? It's been a while, yeah. Do you remember how to lay bags anymore? <laughs> I have to watch old videos of myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, how long has it been since we put down an earth bag? Feels like it's been too long. Oh, man, it's crazy. But, uh, yeah, it'll be nice to get back into that. And I, I think it'll go quickly once we start bagging again. Ooh, uh, yeah, someone brought up uh, flooding in Flagstaff, Arizona. Harrison says, you hear about the flooding oh, in Flagstaff? I saw that video. I saw that. I showed you that video. That was crazy. There was like a car just floating down the street. And the first thing I'm thinking of is send a little bit of that down here. <laughs> Not too much. Not that much. A little bit of it. A little bit. <laughs> we don't need our car floating out of the property, but hey. Yeah, I was, so I was looking at cobbing, uh, just kind of like doing a thin cob layer on the inside of those walls, but uh, ended up just doing uh, straight, just straight, pretty much liquidy mud. <laughs> but it was super easy to get that up there, I'll tell you that. Will just the mud water mix be more susceptible to washing out in the rain? Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If rain hits that stuff, it'll just wash right off. Yeah, so... But it's pretty easy to put it back up there. Yeah, it's just fling it back up. But I'm hoping that it'll be a little more protected on the inside. Yeah, just to keep some of that light off. Of course, the real protection will be once we get the rest of that dome built. So yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited <laughs> to keep building on that wall, I'll tell you that much. Do you plan to use smaller bags as you reach the top of the dome? We kind of already started using smaller bags. Um, we didn't we didn't really have the bags sorted, and a lot of those smaller bags, like, we went from, like, really large bags to kind of smaller bags, and those bags we didn't really have sorted, so we kind of dropped sizes pretty quick. It wasn't too much smaller, I don't think. Uh, Was it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little smaller than I'd like, but uh, what can you do? Yeah, uh, I, that's I that's one thing. That's uh, be an issue, right? Just as long as we don't go any much smaller. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we'll get it done. No, oh, it's not too bad. I don't want to go too much smaller though, until like unless we get really close to the top. Leslie Dawn says, hi, you two. Thanks for showing your world to us. I think you're both just killing it out there, and you're both amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. I haven't found a video yet, but did you do a build video of your solar system when you put it together? Um, I, 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 put, 
I put together videos of like me building uh, the rack and uh, mounting the panels and I think wiring up the panels but I didn't get wiring all the components together but I kind of take a little tour of that that's out there kind of showing how everything kind of works together Brian Randall asks, will you have to attach barbed wire to the wood before adding the next layer of bags? Yeah, I think we probably should have some barbed wire in, like after we do this cob layer, right? After the cob layer. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to find a way to... Press that, of... get that into the cob. <laughs> yeah, we'll need it for that. Ooh, can you waterproof it with linseed oil? Hmm. Possibly. And you can do that for, people do that for floors. Mm -hmm. I don't know about walls, that might be a lot of <laughs> oil. How many more feet until you reach the top of the dome? 10 more feet or approximately? That all depends on, because <clears throat> one thing uh, you're thinking is we cannot step in the cob layer. Probably not. So the cob layer will have to go kind of a little bit more straight up. But uh, so we might have to start stepping in again after that. And that could add a little bit more height as well. Where did y'all get your permaculture design certificates? Uh, we took the Jeff Lawton permaculture course. Uh, both of us did. That, that's just an online course. And but uh, different years, right? Different years, yeah. You went through it, you took it, uh, and I took it was it the year after i think so uh fantastic course I mean, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on it yeah it was really good really thorough um and then we also took a class uh in tucson yeah that was like even before that yeah that was like our <coughs> first it was like an introduction to what permaculture is uh when i took the i mean when i took the Jeff Lawton course, it was even more thorough than the time you took it. And it had, did they have all kinds of cool animations when you took it? Oh. Yeah, I mean, you got uh, all fancy these, with ears. Yeah. You had these, uh, you got the lectures, but then you got these fancy animations. Really nice stuff. If you haven't checked out Jeff Lawton on, uh, check out some of the content on YouTube. <coughs> Good day from Australia. I just woke up. How's your garden going? How is the garden going? Um, it's doing better now that it hasn't been so hot. I think the plants appreciate it. June is cooler. always a rough month, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's all growing in there? Well, there's a cucumber plant. There's some comfrey. Um, there's mints different kinds of mints lemon balm lemon balm herbs or grapevine has some grapes on it the rain sounds like we're cooking bacon <laughs> yeah it's started raining again to cruise dismay we're not cooking bacon mm -hmm. will the street cabin bottles be able to handle the weight of the rest of the dome from a structure point of view I believe it will. I think it should because uh, it's kind of going to be packed in between the the wood boards. So, like, m probably the weight is going to be on that wood mostly. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, you know, 
people build walls with cob. Oh yeah, like just cob. So it should you should put like thing. heavy roofs on. <laughs> <laughs> Are we able to grow all year? Uh, no, not really. Not without some extra like heat source, because it can get pretty cold, like below freezing in the winter here. Um, I've seen it get as cold as like 13 degrees Fahrenheit, and like get around like 10, like the coldest. Mm -hmm. We are officially flooded right now. Is that where you currently are, Warren, or oh. are you getting updates from Jill? How efficient will the earth home be compared to the trailer? Everyone's flooded. Everyone's flooded over really? toward the uh, east of us. Oh, they must be getting most of the thing there. Unbelievable. Well, I guess you guys are getting it this time. Where I not get anything, just a little sprinkle. Send a little bit over here. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Jill to send a little bit over this way. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the earth bag home will be a lot more efficient than the trailer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The walls are crazy thick. Yep. I mean, uh, the walls near the ground are like almost two feet thick with just the bags. And then all the cob. <clears throat> we'll probably have like... Probably at least six inches of cob. At least. Do you think so? So probably like, it'll probably be like, well, with considering both sides. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be like two and a half foot thick walls on there. And then when we get to the top, you know, uh, that'll have cob on it, but then we might add straw Straws. bales to that. <sighs> so we'll have that insulation. Crazy. How do you protect your pipes going in and out of your tanks during the freezing times? Uh, most of the pipes I don't think I have to worry about. Uh, the pipes I'm most concerned about is the pipes out of the poly tank during the winter and I got those uh, wrapped up and insulated and that's been working out pretty well mm -hmm. and then um, I, it did freeze that one year though you remember that yeah we just make sure like it there's no water sitting in there by the valve yeah I, I always kind of empty that out do you either do either of you have jobs how do you supplement income uh nope no jobs. Uh, our job, I guess, right now is YouTube. Yep. And, you know, other, like, online things. That yeah. Uh, and, yeah, we got a, a, a YouTube is kind of like one of our big revenue sources. And then, um, you know, we sell merchandise and stuff like that. And things are really about to ramp up in that area so stay tuned for that we got a big announcement coming up in a couple weeks don't we mm -hmm. yeah i'm working <laughs> working hard on it well see that's another thing you're working on you forgot to leave yeah. that out uh and all the things you've been doing that's secret that's top secret you can, you can hint at it a little bit <laughs> yeah but um <coughs> i was working from home Whoa. for a while oh darren darren thank you so much for this Wow, that's wow, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Super generous. Yeah, I was working from home for a while. Um, yeah, when doing, we first came on. Yeah, here, right? I was a medical transcriptionist, and that kind of helped us transition into, you know, doing this kind of more online business. Doing as much online as you can is a real benefit, especially kind of living out in the middle of nowhere, off-grid. <laughs> to worry about commuting. Yeah. 
because if I got if I had to get any kind of job in town, that would be um, it'd be a trip. <laughs> <laughs> Chris must have passed out from worrying so much. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Did you hear that? Oh my god. Oh, oh, the crew heard that. He woke up. Oh, look at that. Dear baby. Good cam. Crew cam. Crew. Say hello to the people. To the people. <laughs> uh, what is the diameter of the ground level that you're currently working on? The uh, uh, the diameter of of the ground level, where the dome is at the widest, twenty feet interior yeah. diameter. Richard, Solomon, Monsoon Thunder, yeah. Uh, we're getting a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, but just a few sprinkles. Uh, so far, it's been a rough monsoon season. Keeping our fingers crossed, y'all. When are you going to show us the plans you have for inside the dome? <sighs> Do we have that in the video? Yeah, we kind of talked a little bit about the layout of like, kind of like the general layout. General layout, like kitchen, bathroom, and stuff like that. But uh, plans have changed drastically since then. Maybe we should do an update. Maybe. Would you consider a partially buried pit greenhouse after the home is finished? I'll tell you, that is definitely one of our big plans out here. Uh, it's going to be crazy because, I mean, after we're done with the house, I mean, we're just going to be hitting the ground running, building more things. More cisterns, a greenhouse. Uh, man. Yep. So much to do. Lots of plans. Wanda asks, will you have to put custom windows in when you pull the wood frames out? Yes. Or, well, that's the plan anyway. Well, we got some uh, we got some windows that are ready to go in there. Uh, some windows will be bottle windows. I think, are we building custom doors? Mm -hmm. So we might be doing that. Oh, see, it's teasing. It's teasing with all the lightning and thunder and then a little bit of rain, a little bit of sprinkles, and then that's it. We're getting the rain all the east on the east, east of us. Bubba Redneck asks, have you guys found any fissures forming on your land? Nothing like that. Uh, but it has been happening, you know, uh, what's that area? Wilcox. Wilcox. <whistles> Getting pretty bad. Hey, Whoa, Chris, Chris. Thank wow. you so much. Sending love and appreciation for all your videos. That's so nice. Thank you so much for that. <clears throat> Did you get a truck yet? Nope. No trucks yet. Yeah, I've been looking, but not, not, uh, not super hard. Just casually looking. Looking at Facebook every now and then. Mm-hmm. I was looking um, at some auction sites. But we'll see. Any plans to make the outside look like Luke Skywalker's childhood home? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's the, the we gotta have it look, <laughs> look like that when we're done. Uh, uh, what do you say? Um. Uh, <laughs> Uh, she's not a Star Wars fan. <laughs> nah, she is. 
Well, I don't know. I made a, <laughs> I made you watch a lot of Star Wars, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, she's not a fan. She puts up with it pretty well. <laughs> What's the square footage inside the dome? Yeah, people ask that. It's what is it? It's about a thousand? Or is that with both domes? No. That it's a thousand like for one, isn't it? A thousand is probably for everything. Oh for everything. <laughs> that probably makes sense. So wow, yeah. One thousand square feet for everything. What is it for one yeah. dome? Oh, for one dome, isn't it like it's like three hundred? Yeah, it might be here. I don't know if I figured out what the like lofts area would be. Yeah. That'll make so there's like so much bit. room above the, the flooring. Yeah, that's why we gotta do the that's why we're doing the loft. Hope we can take a little take a little advantage of that. Ooh man, I just get yeah, you know, the bill the bill is gonna keep you know, we're getting those walls are gonna keep getting higher. I'm excited to get back into that. Reading Matt, thank you so much for the super chat. Thumbs up. Thank you so much. FedEx said, new to your channel and loving the content, trying to catch up on everything you're doing. What happened with the opt out in Cochise? Uh, you know, uh, so far, nothing, right? Still there. Still there. Uh, they've been having meetings about it. And I think it's going well, so I haven't heard anything about them taking it away. Uh, what about electricity inside? Uh, we will be having electricity inside. We already got the pipe for the electricity in there. Then the uh, wiring will be much down, much later down the road after both domes are up. So. Mm -hmm. Robbie asked, your email is not working on your website. I've tried two times. I made a donation to you for a tree. Love what you're doing. You're doing a fantastic mm. job. Thank you. Uh, the email is not working on the website. <clears throat> uh, email at greendreamproject.org. I think we got an email from her, didn't we? Like a video? I, yeah, or is it like the messaging? Huh? Yeah, is that email or the... Uh, or is it, yeah, it's cool. Because we've been getting contacted through the website. Mm -hmm. But the email, we definitely got an email from you. Chemo asks, uh, if you deal with or have ticks or fleas in your... Oh. Maybe don't put nope. that in there. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> well, I didn't think we were going to be back. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, that is incredible. Sorry, guys. Uh, that's I can't I can't believe we just went out like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, before everyone started bailing and then uh, okay. we're back. Uh, hopefully we can, uh, <laughs> I don't know how long, much longer we'll uh, have this connection, but uh, yeah. we'll take okay. we'll take advantage, um, try and hang in there. I guess if it cuts out again, that'll probably be it. But uh, do you want to talk about what you found today? Yeah, I got to I gotta answer Kimo's question. Yeah, I, I found a tick today. It was in a weird place. It's like in one of the a, old gloves. Yeah, some old gloves. So yeah, every now and then we find something, a tick or fleas. And crew's and been crew. crew's gotten fleas a couple of times. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, it's probably not as bad as in some areas, but. Barry Davidson, Barry. welcome to the Green Dream team. Hey, thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, I think the ticks here are, uh, what did I say they were called? I don't know. Like Gulf Coast something kind of ticks. So um, fortunately, they don't carry the same kind of 
disease that some other ticks do, like the Rocky Mountain spotted fever, which can be really bad, but it they can still make you sick with something similar. It's just not as, quite as bad. <laughs> Leo asks, how are you liking this weather? Well, I'm loving it. Yeah. It'd be nice if it were a little wetter, but uh, <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Well, we'll see. Uh, it's kind of crazy. You were running the AC actually earlier today, right? And then uh, <laughs> like, and then the temperatures dropped like crazy. Yeah, it was crazy because it was like hot and sunny earlier. Yeah, like it was cloudy in the morning. Then it got pretty hot and sunny, and then the temperatures dropped like crazy, like a rock. Now it's beautiful, beautiful. Gotta keep the uh, gotta keep the pipes moistened because there's been a lot of talking on this live and generally you may not believe this from the videos, but generally I don't do a whole lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, we just we're just hard at it, constantly working. Oh. Right? Yeah. I was, I thought you were gonna say we communicate with like, telepathically or something. And we do communicate well. <laughs> Kind of have to communicate telepathically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Timo. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Oof. It's getting down, getting down to the wire. Uh, and the rain's coming down a little heavier, so... Any more questions, throw those in there. But uh, I'm excited. Uh, what can they expect in the next video? You know, it's uh, repairing the inside of the dome, getting that lots all covered up. Lots of mud slinging. Find lots of mud in the next video. <laughs> we got some crew in there. A little bit of crew action in there. I'm excited about it. I'm excited because this one, this video is going to really, it's all those preparations that we need to do to start building again. I wish, I wish we had some rain footage in the next, in the next video, but uh, that was not to be the case. Uh, Darren asks, are you making jewelry still? Uh, well... You're not the jewelry maker. Yeah. Actually, my mom does the jewelry that's on our, our uh, shop. Now, your mom's currently in Wisconsin, but you got some news for that, huh? Yeah, uh, she's going to be moving down here. Maybe pretty soon, so, uh, I don't know, what do you think? Do you think you'll team up and you'll be able to get out some more jewelry? That would be nice. It'd be nice to, uh, be able to see your parents more, huh? Yes. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Have you ever built a wall with cob before? Uh, ever built a cob wall before? A cob wall? Yeah. Mm, no, not just straight cob. Hubert. <laughs> 13 moons. Dang it, I'm so late. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, we're glad you made it. Uh, we had a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a... Uh, what do you call that intermission there? Yeah. Have you thought about digging swales all over your land to capture rainwater for your plants? That would be exciting to watch. Swales are a big thing out here. I can't wait to start putting some swales in. Uh, maybe that'll be a nice big uh, start, a big project after um, after the domes are built. Maybe start digging some swales. Yeah. Maybe I'll see what I can do about uh, getting some help out there for that. Maybe it'll go a lot quicker. Someone with a bucket or something. Or do it by hand. I don't know. Hear the rain. It's so exciting. Are you having storms like tiny shine? I don't know what kind of storms they have. They're having. Are they getting rain? <laughs> Everyone's getting rain but us. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the storms are coming down. I haven't heard. 
Is the Cobb Cannon working better? I I tried it that once and it wasn't quite working out so I had to use other methods. My husband and I have questions about how you convert energy from a 24 volt Tesla batteries. Have you done a video on your solar? I have and you can actually see the uh, the connections and how that's all connected. Did you paint instead? Kind of. Kind of. I painted with a very large brush. I was more like kind of doing a Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> Leo, uh, no problem with oh, that. Oh, good. Their truck's up and running again. Oh, you saw. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Uh, yeah, uh, I was a little worried about you guys. I'm glad, uh, glad that's up and running and get around. I was like, like we gotta, they're stranded over there. We gotta, we gotta help them out. <laughs> I hope it helps uh, with that. I, I wish I could think of what the, I, I titled that video, but it was a while ago. It was probably a, a couple of years now, almost two years old, I think. Not quite two years, but almost two years old, I think, at mm -hmm. this point. Because I think we had to finish setting up in September, didn't we? You don't remember. I don't ah. remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost positive it was like September a couple of years ago. Jose asked, do you mix the dirt with cement? Uh, we don't. Um, we have a lot of clay in our soil. And I think, like, if we had sandier soil, we might do that. But, um... We don't really it. trust it so much to, uh, as a binder. Because the clay and the cement don't necessarily mix so well. Matthew asks, have you peaked in the dome basements recently? <clears throat> Not yet, but it, it might be pretty soon. Or at least once we finish up the first dome, we're definitely at least going to go into the root cellar. Maybe into the bedroom and we'll take a look at that. I'm excited about opening those up. You got anything? Kimo asks, can you guys get deliveries to your location uh, without a truck? Could someone get a homestead store with a minivan in your area? I think most... Yeah, we can get most deliveries here, right? Yeah, uh, we haven't had any issues with that. Um, you know, well, we can get, like, Home Depot deliver here. Uh, you know, uh, for as far as packages, uh, FedEx and UPS will deliver here. But the post office won't. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing. So the post office, we actually have to go and uh, pick up the mail, but it's not too far. It's only coming down the dirt road. Uh, yeah, Lynette, thunder. We got the thunder and the lightning and a little bit of sprinkles, but not too much rain yet. Uh, well, that is our time. Our hour is up already. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for all those super chats. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, but uh, Thursday nights is always so much fun. Always enjoy getting to talk to you and answer those questions one on one. I know a lot of there's a lot of things we can't uh, necessarily put in those videos, so it's a really great to get this chance to uh, to get those questions answered and get things a little bit more thorough. But uh, thank you to our moderators, always doing an amazing job. And uh, have a good night, everyone. We'll catch you on Saturday's video. All right. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. Sorry for that interruption. Sorry for that intermission earlier as well. <laughs> and uh, pray for some rain. Maybe we'll get some more rain. Ooh. All right. Good night.